Good afternoon and welcome to Uniquely Urbandale. For the Urbandale Chamber of Commerce, I'm J. Michael McCoy, and today my guests are Chris Walter, the Assistant Mall Manager at Merle Hay Mall, and Ed Kaiser, who is the GM and the Leasing Manager. So we're glad to have both of you here today, and it's exciting to have you come and tell us about what's going on at the mall. Sure. Well, thanks for having us. Yeah, absolutely, Matt. Well, and we're, we're proud tenants of the mall. Uh, I think you probably know this story, but I've been trying to put a radio station on this floor for about 20 years. <laughs> I know you know that story, so we're really happy to be here. All right, so uh, Chris, let's talk a little first about some of the new things that are going on here at Merle Hay Mall. Because even though Merle Hay Mall is Iowa's oldest mall, yes, mm-hmm. and one of the largest ever, right. um, you walk down into the mall and it looks like it was just built last year. So many brand new things are coming around. Yeah, absolutely. Of course, you know, when we added Flix Brew House um, at the end of 2014 now, um, I mean, it was just, you know, a huge investment for the mall and really added a lot of growth opportunities for us on the leasing side as well as attracted, you know, new customers or customers um, to come back to the mall that maybe they hadn't been here for a while. And I think that you'll see, you know, kind of how this has led to um, now leasing opportunities in our food court. Um, we're kind of rebranding that. Um, yeah, it's you know, all it's, it's all local, uh, yeah. like little restaurants in there, all local restaurants. Absolutely. You know, we're kind of going away from the, the food court. That's kind of passe. And, um, you know, now it's really focusing on those local eateries. So yeah. the, the name of it now, of course, is the Local Eats Food Hall. Um, really kind of that community, um, local eating experience. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I mean, we're, we have all, you know, of our tenant spaces in the food hall um, leased up. And we yeah. really encourage people to come out and, and try them. I mean, it's really good food selection. Um, so, you know, you come out with your family. Maybe someone wants to eat at Tamales Industry um, or get some barbecue at Stu's Barbecue or the euros at at Jimmy's. I have I have a euro at least once a week. <laughs> I do. They're really good. Well, yeah, you can't resist. They are. They're very good. But that's just a, you know you, to come out with the family. You know you really can kind of get food from wherever and then sit together in one spot and, and eat. It's you know really kind of a unique experience. What are some of the other uh, businesses and retail establishments that you're expecting in 2016? Well, we're you know currently very close to opening up a new Sprint store. Um, and um, really kind of exciting for us is a new Warhammer store. Warhammer? Warhammer. Um, they are located, or will be located, I should say, right next to iWireless on that lower Flix level as sure. you come in the south entrance. Um, very unique concept. It's a gaming store. Okay. Um, so if you kind of think more in terms of your tabletop kind of strategic fantasy you know, type games. It's, you know, just kind of taking you to a whole other world. Um, so I'm very, I'm very curious to see what it, it all is. It, but, you know, you kind of create your own characters, you oh, paint yeah. them. And um, yeah, it's very exciting. Very, very exciting. exciting. All right, Ed Kaiser, you're the GM and the leasing manager. I, there's a lot of stuff going here on Merle Hay Road, and it may not be right in front of the mall or directly associated with the mall, but people are refinding out how awesome the Merle Hay area is. You know, excellent, excellent point. Um, with the addition of you have Chick-fil-A, Discount Tire, Pita Pit, uh, and some of the Dunkin' growth, Donut. Yeah, actually, D- Dunkin' Donuts. The growth that's happened over the last uh, three to five years is really indicative of what positive changes are happening around here. Um, you know, and here in the mall, it's, it is... Uh, uh, not only the Warhammer Sprint stores are being under uh, built right now, Games and More just opened. They have a whole host of uh, different board games, Thai Baby, uh, Beanie Baby collections, mm. all kinds of things that uh, uh, parents, grandparents, and kids are really uh, attracted to. Uh, I've got to step back and go back to that food court because I'm a big foodie. Mm-hmm. And uh, <laughs> one of the things that that, that food court is really doing, uh, I uh, you actually get these now. I got a phone call from my wife saying, why don't you bring home dinner from the food court? That doesn't happen right, anywhere. Right, <laughs> you know, that's right. just not something you say. But with, uh, like uh, Chris mentioned, Tamales Industry, one of the things that was amazing to me is they're back there. They grind their own corn to make their yep. tamales. They've got yep. awards, the uh, Vietnam Cafe, best in Des Moines, three years in a row. I mean, it's just uh, one after another. The quality is 
it's really impressive. So I encourage people to come over and check out the food court because you're going to be surprised at both the prices and the quality. It's it's outstanding. And of course, we've got the major anchors here. You've got Target to the south. You've got Sears to the north. And Sears is going to stay here at the mall. Yes. Sears, Yonkers. Yep, absolutely. And Sears is investing in their building. They've got a lot of action going on there uh, with the closing of the store uh, on the south side of town. They're expecting a uh, significant increase in business up here because there's there's that is a loyal customer base that Absolutely. craftsman brand yep and so we're going to be seeing more of that here and uh it's just uh again talks to the quality and the excitement of what's going on in this area all right well remember it's merle hay mall it's the second busiest street in iowa and that's merle hay road and that's of course the street that's running north and south just a little more than a mile south of 8035 you're right in the heart of everything at the merle hay mall so if you're a business person and you've been thinking about expanding, trying to see maybe if the mall will work for you, hopefully today you've heard that there's a lot of people who have already made that decision to join Merle Hay Mall. And hey, psst, maybe you should be the next one. Okay? <laughs> Chris, thank you very much yeah, for being thank here. You. Ed, thanks for being here. For the Urbandale Chamber of hey, Commerce. Hey, Mac, if I can, throw out one more thing. Absolutely. A lot, you know, with all the different things that are happening, somebody might be out there thinking that their business is looking for a new location and can relocate to the mall, but they always have heard that malls are very expensive and you're stuck on a long-term lease, uh, which sometimes, you know, we might look for that, but I'm really looking for that interesting concept that you can't find anywhere else. Somebody that's going to bring a unique and interesting value that people want. We want to work with them and help them become successful. So, uh, I, I just challenge people to put aside their perceptions of yep. what it's like to go to a mall or what kind of situation they might fi find when they get there. Pick up the phone, give me a call, uh, send me an email, and uh, let's talk about your ideas and your vision and what you want to do with your business and how it can fit into the plan here at Merle Hay. So uh, I just don't want to let any stone left uh Unturned. Well, and there's a business person, especially probably within the Urbandale Chamber of Commerce, that have always thought, someday I'll be a big business and I can be at Merle Hay Mall, and Absolutely. now is the time to do that. Absolutely. Yeah, Absolutely. now is the time. All right. As I was saying, I'm J. Michael McCoy for Uniquely Urbandale and the Urbandale Chamber of Commerce. Thanks for watching. Powered by WebcastOneLive.com.